Good day, everybody. How are you all? Hope you're doing great today. So let's work on a problem today. Says, what is, uh, if I make it a little bit smaller, maybe, what is one plus x cubed? Okay, so again, use a binomial theorem. So we could have already, of course, multiplied one plus x with one plus x with one plus x. Instead of doing that, we use, you will use a binomial solution use binomial theorem so then we get uh, this will be one plus x cubed will be equal to first we will have the term three c zero this is the combination of zero things taken out of three things without regard to order, multiplied by one raised to the power of zero, multiplied by x raised to the power of three minus zero, plus three C one, combination of one thing taken out of three things without regards to order, multiplied by one, raised to the power of 1 multiplied by x raised to the power of 3 minus 1. The next term will be 3 combination 2 or combination of two things taken out of 3 without regards to order multiplied by 1 square multiplied by x raised to the power of 3 minus 2. And the last but not the least is combination of three things taken out of three without regards to order multiplied by one raised to the power of three multiplied by x raised to the power of three minus three so the general term for a binomial explanation so if you have a, uh, say um, one plus x raised to the power of n okay the term containing x to the power of n will be term containing x to the power of n will be n c0 okay then 1 raised to the power of 0 and then x raised to the power of n minus 0 okay so the term containing x n will be this term so anyways let's do 3 let's calculate the value of 3 combination 0 this is the way in which 0 things will be taken out of 3 items without regards to order is given by 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 0 factorial and then multiplied by in the denominator 0 factorial. So this will be 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial and 0 factorial is 1 actually. So this 3 factorial cancels with this factorial we have 1 as the answer. How about combination of 1 things taken out of 3 without regards to order. So this will be 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 1 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. So this will be 3 factorial multiplied by 3 minus 1 is 2, I mean divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 factorial times 1 factorial is 1. So this will be 3 times 2 times 1 divided by 2 times 1. Now 2 times 1, they will cancel each other out in the numerator. So this will be this instead of this. Okay. And that will be equal to 3. And uh, let me move my screen a little bit up. 
So three combination of two items taken out of three without regards to order is three factorial divided by three minus two factorial. Oops. Okay, three minus two factorial. And then two factorial itself. So this will be three factorial. Three minus two is one factorial divided by two factorial. So this will be three times two times one. One factorial is one multiplied by two times one. So two cancels with two, one cancels with one. This is equal to three. How about three C cubed? Oops. 3C cube, so 3C3. Three three. So let me erase this and make this clear. Yeah. So what is this? This is how many ways that three items can be taken out of three without regards to order. So this will be three factorial divided by three minus three factorial divided, multiplied by three factorial. So you have three factorial multiplied by, I mean, divided by zero factorial, multiplied by three factorial. Now, the three factorial in the numer numerator and denominator, they cancel. And you have one over zero factorial, which is one over one, which is one. Okay, so, so with this information, let's uh, do the expansion then using the binomial theorem, okay? So let me move up a little bit and create some space. So let me create this. Okay. So let me change also the color of the ink. So in that case, one plus, so let me erase this. One plus x cubed is equal to 3c0. 1, 0. 1 to the power of 0 is 1. 3c0 is 1. So it's 1 multiplied by x cubed. Please do not quit right away. I'll give you some important tip at the end of this program. Plus 3c1. We already saw that is equal to 3. And then I have x square. 1 to the power of 1 is 1. 3x square. How about 3c2 in the next term? That is also equal to 3. And that is equal times 3, 1 cubed, okay, is 1, okay. And x to the power of 3 minus 3 is 1 also. Oops, no, I made a mistake, so let me erase this. Next term is 3C2. 3C2 is 3. Okay, 1 square is 1, and then x. And then the last term is 3C3, which is 1, times 1 cubed and x3 minus 3 is x0 is 1. So the final answer is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1, okay? That's your final answer, okay? So remember, uh, 3c3 is 1, and x to the power of zero is also one. That's why the last term itself is one, because it's one multiplied by one multiplied by one, and that's one. So this is your final answer. Let me highlight that. Of course, we have could have done this problem one plus x times one plus x times one plus x. Instead of doing that, we are using binomial theorem as I showed you the general term containing x to the power of n in the binomial expansion of 1 plus x to the power of n will be n c0, 1 to the power of 0, and x to the power of n. 
So we are going to utilize a binomial theorem, find out the number of ways in which you can take zero items out of three without regard to order. Similarly, one item out of three without regard to order, two items out of three without regards to order, and three items out of three without regard to order. Those will be the coefficients of the different exponents of or different powers of x and also multiplied with different powers of 1. Finally, we get 1 plus x cubed is x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. That's your final answer. If you have any question, comments, write me a note. Please do not hesitate to write me a comment. I assure you I will answer to each and every comment. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. This motivates me to produce more interesting videos just for you. If you like this video, share with your friends, you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. And please do not forget to watch me tomorrow when I'll be back with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.